Television's original automotive magazine. Your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. It used to be that family cars were just that, cars. But today, the sport utility vehicle has taken over as the nervous suburbanite's child hauler of choice. And so almost every car mark has its own sport ute. Even top luxury brands, the stronghold of the fine sedan, boast at least one. Mercury already has a rebadged Ford Explorer. They call it the Mountaineer. Not to be outdone, their partners at Lincoln have added a full boat luxury version of the full-size Ford Expedition. It's dubbed the Lincoln Navigator. So where is this all going to end? One thing's for sure, it can't go much further than the Lincoln Navigator. A more focused combination of size, luxury, and ability would be hard to find in any SUV. Far from just a rebadged expedition, the Navigator is in Lincoln's own vision with some 400 unique components. Navigator styling is bold and modern. A new hood, Lincoln-esque grille, clear lens headlights, and two-tone fascia completely replaces the Ford look up front. While distinctive profile highlights include smoothly integrated lighted running boards and a good deal of chrome on the door handles and even on the roof rack. While the rear has a new hatch, more chrome, larger taillights, a nearly hidden class three trailer hitch and unfortunately a rather clunky looking window treatment. We expect to find Continental brand tires on a sport sedan, not a sport ute. We were impressed with their quiet operation. Made here by General Tire, 16-inch rubber is standard and 17-inch optional on Navigator 4x4. The loaded approach carries over to the interior as well. Unlike Expedition, leather and wood are standard and plentiful, with burled walnut accents prominent on the dash and center console as well as a Jaguar XK8-derived tulip wood and hide steering wheel. The leather-clad power bucket seats are comfortable and supportive with two-position memory. Gauges are full, while the wide cabin requires a full reach for the large, well-laid-out stereo controls. The standard automatic climate controls were also a stretch, but the town car design is straightforward. So Lincoln provides satellite switches for climate, stereo, and cruise control on the steering wheel. Unique to the sport ute field are the standard second row captain's chairs. With a deep center console, no longer will second row passengers feel they are stuck back in coach class. However, the buckets neither fold nor are removable. So for those who demand more versatility, you can order the Expedition split bench at no cost. Also standard is a third row seat, best left to young and the young at heart. Under the sheet molded composite hood is a standard 5.4 liter overhead cam V8 engine with 230 horsepower. More importantly, the 5.4's 325 pound-feet of torque means an 8,000 pound towing capacity for the two-wheel drive model and 7,700 pounds for four-wheel drive, which is managed by Borg Water's excellent control track full-time four-wheel drive system. And while the roughest off-road environment that Navigator is likely to see are the greens at Pebble Beach, it's actually very capable off the beaten path. Much of the credit for Navigator's prowess, both off and on-road, is due to its standard load leveling suspension. An improved version of the Expedition's optional air suspension, the Navigator is tuned more towards comfort than utility. It delivers a more supple ride than most sport utes could ever hope for. Navigator's sense of upscale panache hasn't escaped the notice of the rest of the automotive press either. Our friends at Automobile Magazine said, The Navigator is a Ford Expedition that went Ivy League instead of to vocational school, and it matriculated more quiet and refined than its sibling. You're more likely to see Sasquatch than one of these pricey beasts in the woods. Base price is $39,950 for two-wheel drive and $43,300 for four-wheel drive. That's many thousands less than Lexus and Range Rover. Navigator then certainly delivers plenty for the dollar. So is the Lincoln Navigator the be-all, end-all of sport utility vehicles? Well, with its many distinctive luxury features and award-winning expedition routes, it looks like it could be the end of the road for Navigator's competition. <laughs>